the first one is uh, loop elimination method second is gate elimination method and third one is Arden's theorem okay so we'll see one by one how to find re from a given finite automata using loop elimination or state elimination or Arden's theorem students one thing you have to remember here is you can go for any method if the method is not mentioned in the question but if they mention in the question like find re using Arden's theorem so you have to use Arden's theorem okay otherwise if they give you find uh, re of a given finite automata whichever you are comfortable with you can go for that okay so we'll see one by one uh, before uh, uh, going into three different methods first we'll find re for some simple uh, finite automators okay Okay, so we'll find RE for simple automata, uh, sorry, simple uh, FA first. Okay, so this. So what will be RE for this? What will be my RE for this? Okay, how to read any string when you have a finite automata? Start from the start state and trace the path to the final state. Okay, start from the start state and trace the path to the final state. If I start from this start state, okay, if I name this as Q0 and Q1, Q0 se leke Q1. What is the transition? Transition is A. So what will be my RE? My RE will be A for this. I hope you are getting, right? Okay, if start from the start state and reach the final state okay trace the path and read the input okay we have only one path here so it is a okay so we'll move on to the next one is my a and this is my b okay so tell the re now what will be our re yes says a or b rahul says a or b devesh kushal yes so 
if you start from the start state and reach the final state, yes, Amit, it is A or B. Start from the start state and reach the final state. If you see, we have two paths. You have to do path. We have here two paths to reach the final state, right? One path is A and second path is B. As we know, if we have parallel path, then it is or A or B, right? So, RE for this will be A or B. Okay. So, next, if I have something like this. Oh, <laughs> So what will be the array for this? What will be array for this? This is A, this is B, and this is D. What will be the array for this? Okay, trace the path to the final state. Start from, start from the starting state, start state or the initial state, and reach the final state. So what you can read, what you can read, what is this path? Anyone? Start from the start state and reach the final state. Yes, yes, Shreya, just check how can it be or there is no parallel path, right? It is single path. So there will be no or. Yes, Rahul, Haresh, Amit. Race to plus. Race to plus ki zarat nahi hai. Pusha, no race to plus. Why? Race to plus. You can reach, without B, you can reach the final state. You can have AA, right? So there will be no race to plus. It will be stuck. Because without B, you can reach the final step. So, as you people have written, it is A, B star A. Okay, so it is A, B star A. Good. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, tell me now. What will be array for this? What will be array for this? K 
A or B, B star. Very good. Very good. Students, everyone got this. Is there any doubt in this? Just read from the start state and reach the final state. To reach the final state, we have two paths, A or B. Okay, and at the final state, we have the loop. Jab bhi hamare paas loop hai, it will be B, the yeah, whatever uh, input symbol we have, uska star, right? So A or B, B star. So what we have here, A or B, B star, okay? And if I have a loop here, Then what will be the array? Yes, right. It is A star, A or B, B star. I hope you got the difference, right? Very good. this last one and then we'll move on to the method Okay, tell me. What is the array? What is the array for the given FA? Some say it is A star, some say it is A star, A or B. Okay, A star is right. I'll tell you why A star is right. Yes, Abhishek, Devesh, Sabu. Yes, very good. Sorry, uh, A star is right. Students, I think you remember the minimization of TFA. The state which is not in between the start and the final state are useless, right? When you read in a given finite automata, what you read? You read from the start state to the final state. Start state to the final state is only A star. This is not contributing in between start and the final state, right? So this will be eliminated. This will be discarded. I hope you are getting me. Okay. So this is useless state. These two states are useless because they are not contributing in the path between start and the final state. Okay. There is no path to reach this state and reach back to the final state. Right. So, we have only this transition. So, we have RE as A star. 
this is clear students any doubt in this students any doubt in this i hope this is clear okay so now we'll move on to the method okay so today uh, students make a note that you'll have your cn lecture at one o'clock instead of mathematics and i'll be continuing maybe till 11 30. okay i'll complete this topic and leave fine so we'll at least see one or two lectures uh, sorry one or two examples from this okay so we'll start with state elimination method the first one we'll check is state elimination method so for that what you have to do students there are few steps that you have to note okay so the first step is if there exists any incoming edge if there exists any incoming edge okay as you can see there is an incoming edge Okay, if there is any incoming edge at the initial state, start state mein agar koi incoming edge hai, toh we have to eliminate it. To eliminate that, what we do, we create a new initial state or the start state. We create a new start state and we give the transition to the old, older start state on epsilon so that it doesn't make any difference right if we have epsilon we uh, that doesn't make any difference to your i okay so that work so what we are doing in any of this method the first thing what we are doing in any of this method using loop elimination method or state elimination method the complex diagram or the complex finite automata we are converting it into or we are breaking it into simpler automata in this way okay so that we do for that we have to follow these steps in state elimination we'll be eliminating we will be going on eliminating the intermediate st uh, states uh, which come in between the start state and the final state okay we just go on deleting one by one and then at the end we'll have only the start state and the final state and whatever re is written on the transition that will be our final r okay for that we have to follow all these steps the first step is you have to look into the start state and check whether you have any incoming state if you have incoming state will be creating a new state because we don't want any incoming transition on the start state. Okay, we don't want any incoming transition on the start state. If we have that, what we'll do, we create a new state. Okay, as we have done in this. We create a new state. This will be our start state. Okay, and on epsilon, we'll connect it to the older one. I hope the first step is clear okay next is second step if we have more than one final state uh, final state okay uh, we want to convert the complex finite automata to simpler one so what is uh, what we don't want is incoming edge at the start state we don't want more than one final state that is the second step if we have more than one final state what we do we create single final state we create or we add a new state which is final state and connect all the final state jitne bhi apne pas final state hai, all will connect it to that on epsilon and make the final state as non final okay don't keep a b final a b final fir teen ka char ho jayega right so what we want we want single final state so for that we'll be creating a single final state 
okay and then we connect this final state to the new final state and the older final state tha usko hum non final banaye okay this is our step 2 next is step 3 okay step 3 is if there exist any outgoing edge in the final state if there is any outgoing edge in the final state then create a new final state okay create a new final state and connect this final state to the new final state on epsilon okay this three you have to remember before eliminating the states okay whenever a example is given you have to check the initial state there should be no incoming uh, edges okay then you have to see whether we have more than one final state then you have to check whether the final state have outgoing edge okay if, if we have all this three we first will eliminate this three okay eliminate the incoming edge at the start state right eliminate more than one final state and then eliminate the outgoing edge at the final state is this three steps clear students any doubt in this ye teenon steps clear hai okay so before eliminating the states we have to prepare our finite automata that is the given finite automata free from the incoming edge at the start state free from outgoing edge at the final state free from more than one final state okay so these are the three steps you have to follow before elimination okay after that we will be eliminating one state by one state okay the elimination of the state can be in any order like it may not it cannot it may not be in the same order like left to right or right to left you can eliminate in any order okay we we'll move on to the example okay i'll take the simple example now okay now just check do you have incoming do you have incoming arrow at the start state we have incoming edge at the start state right so what has to be done what we have to do for this what we have to do agar incoming edge hai to hame kya karna hai new start state yes so i'll be adding a new start state here right okay and connect it to the previous one on epsilon on epsilon okay i'll name it as q0 or qs this will be our start state okay बाकी का वैसे ही रहे and this is our final state right so we have to mark the final state so this is now what is the next step what is the next step first we check whether we have incoming edge at the 
uh, start state. Fine. What is the second step? We have to check whether we have more than one final state. We don't have more than one final state. So there is no issue of that. What is the next step? Check final state. Do you have any outgoing edge? Do you have any outgoing edge? Yes, we have outgoing edge. So kya karna hai hume? What we need to do? We have to create a new initial state. Sorry, new final state, right? We have to create new final state. Okay, we'll do that. So this will be my new final state. Okay, you can see very And then this is epsilon. This is epsilon. Okay. This is zero. This is one. And this will be my start state. You can give any name. Okay, this will be A and B as given will not change the intermediate sta uh, states which are already given okay the new states we can name it anything so i'll name this as qs and q okay fine now what is the next step So now we need to eliminate states one by one. So now we have done, we have cleared all the things from the finite automata as given. Okay, so next step is state elimination. Now starts the elimination of state. I can eliminate A first or I can eliminate B first. Okay, it is left to you which you need to eliminate. I'll eliminate A first. Okay, how to eliminate? If I want to eliminate A, now what I want to do? I want to eliminate A. Okay, so by eliminating the state, what you have to do is you have to follow the path. Okay, so from start to final. Okay, so or from uh, the previous state to the next state. Okay from previous state to the next state. If I eliminate A, okay, what should be added to B? Such that eliminating A will not affect the, uh, what is that, uh, the transition. Okay, so now if I'm eliminating A, C, from QS to B, from QS to B, I'll be reaching on epsilon zero B. Sorry, epsilon zero. From QS to B, I'll be reaching on epsilon zero. I hope I'm getting this. I'm making it clear. Okay, from QS to B, I'll be reaching, just read the path, epsilon zero. So, what I'll do, I take this QS, okay, this is B, and this is my QS initial state. Okay, so now I want to eliminate A. So to reach from Q to B, to reach from Q to B, what is the part? It is epsilon zero. So epsilon zero is zero, and so I'll put just zero. Okay, but while eliminating B, I have to also check is there any path from B to A. I have this path, right? B to A1 and then back to B is 0. There is a loop 1, 0, right? 1, 0. So that I'll be adding here. It is 1, 0. 
right? Since I'm eliminating A, this path is not affected. So we will just keep it as it is. Uh, is this one zero wala part clear, students? Is this clear? Is this clear, everyone? Okay. While eliminating A, we have to check all the path. Okay. So I need to reach from QS to B. Okay. So that is the first thing you have to see. Yes, uh, Bacha. But see, if I'm eliminating B, A is reaching B. And B is also reaching B from A. Right? Ye humne consider kiya kyunki Q A is reaching B on 0. Okay? So we considered this. But while we are eliminating A, we have to also check B is reaching B on A. Right? B is reaching B with A. Right? So that path should also be considered and it is since it is a loop since it is a loop it is self loop b is reaching b b is reaching b right b is reaching b b is reaching b from one and zero okay just read the path one and zero okay so for that we have added it here Okay, anyone else? Any doubt, students? Okay, so what we'll have here now? Now, what we have to eliminate? Which state we have to eliminate? Which state we'll be eliminating next? Which state will be eliminated next? We should have only the start state and the final state at the end. Okay. So next we'll be eliminating B. Okay. To eliminate B. So, to eliminate B, we should have only start state and the final state. Right. So this will be my Q S and this will be my Q F. Okay, so this is QS and this is QF. Now, if I want to eliminate B, so what is the path that reaches QS to QF? What is the path that reaches QF to QS? Uh, QS to QF. QS to QF. So you just read it and tell me. Now it is simple, right? It is simple. Uh, uh, to read so what it is just read the path what do you have if you eliminate b what you'll be reading what you'll be reading zero what is i zero just zero you'll be reading just zero You have done this example previously, just now. Pages, is it zero one zero, zero one zero. Okay. But just, just check this, this is self loop. Self loop. Preeti, how can it be zero epsilon? Yes, yes. Abhishek, it's just zero. But just please students, Make a note, make a note. See this zero, if you're eliminating this B, you have to add this here, right? Dekho, humne yaha pe kya kiya? Epsilon zero kiya, right? Epsilon zero kiya, jab humne A delete kiya. Paise hi humne zero, ye wala bhi add karna hai na? Right? So what do you have here? Sorry. What we'll have here 
it is 0, 0 and this 1, 0. Yes, it is. Is it just 1, 0? It is self-loop. It is self-loop. So, it is 0. It is whole star, 1, 0 star. Since it is loop, since it is loop, it is 1, 0 star. 0, 1, 0 star. I hope this is clear. Did you get this, students? Okay. Uh, the students who, are, who were, were a bit confused. Kushal, Tejas, Gokul, yeah, Shreha. Fine. Okay, so now we have only star state and the final state, right? We have only star state and the final state. So what is our final RE now? Whatever is on this transition will be our final RE. Okay, so our final RE now what we have is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, star. So, final RE will be 0, 1, 0, star. Okay. This is our state elimination method. Any doubt in this example, students? Any doubt? See this. It is 0, 1, 0, star. Okay. I just repeat all the steps what we have done. We have taken the example. Check the start state. If you have incoming edge, add a new state. Okay. And connect it to the previous diagram with epsilon. With previous diagram with epsilon. Okay. This is the first thing. Second thing, check the final state. If you have more than one final state, then add another new final state and connect the older, all older final states to the new final state and make the older final state non-final. We skip that step. What is the third step? Check the final state and see whether you have the outgoing edge. Since we had outgoing edge, what we did? We added a new final state and connected it to the, di the previous diagram on epsilon. Okay. So now our transition diagram is ready for the state elimination. So what did we do? We deleted first state that is A. Okay. You cannot eliminate uh, the start state and the final state. You have to remember this. Start state and final state is a must. Okay. So, we will be eliminating the intermediate st uh, states. Okay. So, we started with A. We deleted A. So, when we deleted A, when we deleted A, so, what we check what is the path from QS, that is previous state, ये जो हमने eliminate किया उसका previous state to the next state okay so if I delete A what will be my path from QS to B so if we see it is epsilon 0 on B तो हमने यहाँ पे 0 डाल okay and then we also saw that B is reaching itself from A so what we, did we do we just read that path 1, 0 and we add it on B. Okay. And since eliminating A is not affecting this path, we kept it as it is. Okay. Then we got this. This diagram. This transition diagram. Now we are eliminating B. Okay. When we eliminate B, as you can see, to reach from the previous state to the next state, just read it alongside 0, 
since this is self loop it becomes 1 0 star that we added okay then we don't have any intermediate states here it is only start state and the final state so whatever is on the transition will be our r okay is this clear any doubt in the students any doubt students any doubt Okay, now what I want is if I eliminate B in this, not A, if I eliminate B, so what will be our answer? Let's check. Okay, so I have QS, then I'll have B, and then I'll have final state. This is QS, this is my A, and this will be my QF. Okay, tell me now. What should I write here? QS on A. QS on A. What should I write here? Yes, says Epsilon. Any other answer? What should I write here? I want to eliminate B now. Okay? I hope I am clear. I want to eliminate B, not A. I am not eliminating A. I am eliminating B. Okay, so they just says epsilon. Okay, so if everyone says epsilon, I'll write epsilon because eliminating B will not affect this part, right? Eliminating B is not affecting this part, right? So what we did, we just added epsilon. Yes, good, everyone. Okay, now what we should add here or here or here, we have to check that. Okay. So now A is reaching final state on zero epsilon, right? So what should I write here? What should I write here? I should write zero one. Who said this? Zero. What should I write here? I should write zero. Hogia, is there anything else that should be done? Zero, one, whole star on A. Yes. If I eliminate B, right, I am eliminating this path also, right? If I am eliminating B, I am eliminating this path, right? So I have to check what is this path. That is 0 and reaching back on 1. So it is 0, 1, 0, 1, right? So we have to add a loop here. That is 0, 1. Okay. So now what will be our final QS? And QF, QF, and this will be QS. And this is my text. We have not the text here. Okay, so. What should I write here now? Now I'll be eliminating A. What 
what should I write here now? It is zero one whole star zero. Yes, very good. Zero one whole star zero. Any doubt, students? See, if we eliminated A, we got zero, one, zero whole star. And if we eliminate B first, and then A, we got zero, one whole star, zero. But the uh, string generated by both the arrays are same. The string generated by both the arrays are same. See, I can get zero, just zero, if I put epsilon here. Agar mene yaan pe epsilon dala, I'll get only zero. If I want zero one zero, I can get. If I repeat once, zero one zero. If I repeat this once, I'll get zero one zero. If I repeat this two times, what I'll get? Zero one zero one zero. If I repeat this two times, what I'll get? Zero one zero one zero. The same thing we are getting, right? And final RE would be different in both the case. Yes, uh, Bacha, final RE is different, but the string generated is same. Okay. I hope you got this. Ishani, fine. Students, any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? Now, okay, do this. We'll solve this example and then we'll leave. Okay. What is the first step? I hope the diagram is visible. Okay, what is the first step? Students quickly, if you will answer quickly, I'll leave you quickly. What is the first step? Start state, incoming edge, yes. So add QS. New initial state, very good. Okay, add kar diya mene. Okay, so. This will be A, right? And here you'll have uh, This will be zero. This will be epsilon. Okay. And this is B. And this is C. Okay. Then what is the next step? Till I draw this, tell me the next step. Multiple, multiple final states. Eliminate multiple final state. So, we have to add another right? Which we'll do here. Fine. This will be my. QF and what I'll do, I'll connect this and this on epsilon. 
Okay, so this is one, this is zero, this is one, and this is zero. Right? What is the next step? Is it free from all three now? There is no outgoing edge on final state, right? So we have the simpler finite automata now, right? So what we have to do now? We start elimination of state, okay? So shall we start with C? Eliminating C. Okay, so I'll be eliminating C. I'll be eliminating C now. Okay, yeah, big epsilon. So if I want to eliminate C, if I want to eliminate C, so QS will be as it is, right? A will be as it is, and B will be as it is. Okay. And then what we'll have? We'll have another final state. So we have it here. Okay. Now. QS as it is, it remains as it is, right? Then A remains as it is, okay? Or A, ke B, A and B ke beech mein jo hai, it will remain as it is, right? me now. What are the transitions that I need to connect? From B to final state. From B to final state. What we'll have? From B to final state. From B to final state. B1 epsilon. Right? So, what we'll have? We'll have just one here. Yes, very good. And this remains as it is, right? It is not affecting C. So it will be as it is. Okay. Uh, you should see says 1, 0 on B. What else? Others? 1, 0 should be added on B. Is it 1, 0 or 0, 1? Is it 1, 0 or 0, 1? Just check. Yes, just check. We are eliminating C. So we are on B. When we are on B, we have to see the loop on B. B say C, C say B. It is 1, 0. Okay. So we will be adding your 1, 0. Okay. And if we were eliminating B and we are adding on C, then it will be 0, 1. But here we are on B and we are eliminating C. So from B to C. B to C. Okay. Okay, so now we have eliminated C. So next we'll eliminate B. Okay, so for that we'll have QS as it is. We'll have A as it is, right? And then what we'll have? We'll have, sorry, we'll have final state as it is. This is our QS, 
this is our A and this is our Q. Okay, so now from A to final state, what will be the part? What will be the transition from A to Q? Just check one. One, one, zero, star, one. Very good. Who is this? Yes. Yes. It is one, one, zero, star, one. Okay. This will be added on this path which is going from A to QF. Okay. So it is one, one, zero, star, And this is also this will remain as it is. That's all, or is there anything else? That's all, or is there anything else? One zero on a. Yes, this path we have it added yet, right? So eliminating b will also lose this part. So we have to add this part. So we will add it here. It is 1, 0, and this is epsilon, this is yes. Okay, so finally we will be eliminating So what we'll have here, we'll have only QS and we'll have, we'll have final state. Okay, so what I will have here then. So what we'll have here, what yes says is one zero star zero star no. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Two loops on the same state. What is the meaning of two loops on the same state? It is either this or this. It is not together. Okay, so what you'll have, what you'll have, it is one zero star, sorry, star, or zero star, repeated any number of time. You can write this way, or you can write. 1, 0 or 0 all star. Okay, after that we have 1, 1, 0 all star 1. Okay, and you have to also remember it is not only this, it is also or E. Students, is this clear? See, this is 1, 0 or 0, right, on A. 1, 0 or 0, whole star. Okay, and then it is either this path or this path. Either this path or this path. See, 
either this one or this. Is this clear, students? So your final array is this. Any doubt in this?